Hi, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another weekly tip video. Safari has had some love and attention in the last few years. Now, two years ago, we had tab groups. Then this year with macOS Sonoma and iOS 17, profiles were added as well to give even more organization. Now today I want to go back a stage and just dive a little bit deeper into tab groups and show how they're used and set up as well as how to manage them on both macOS and iOS. Now we've touched on them in previous OS videos, but sometimes it's nice to take a feature that's been touched on and just go a little bit deeper. So this is Safari, of course, on macOS and we've got no tab groups set up as yet. And I can validate this by coming to this drop down arrow here and clicking. And if there were any tab groups, then they'd be listed here. Now from here, I can create a new empty tab group as well as create a new tab group. And this screencast online tab I'm in at the moment will be the only member. But I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm gonna click on this button here to show the sidebar. And here I've got my current bookmarks structure listed. So I hear some of you say, what's the difference between a bookmark folder and a tab group? Why would I need both? Well, bookmarks in Safari are, of course, static links to web pages, and you can access them here in the bookmarks bar or from the menu bar for quick access to regularly visited pages. And then, of course, you can close them, but they will be persistently in your bookmarks. Now, tab groups, on the other hand, are groups of tabs that you're going to leave open. Now, if you're the type of Internet browser like me who loves opening new tabs and can find yourself with hundreds of tabs, perhaps all unorganized, especially on iOS, then tab groups are for you. Now, I tend to use tab groups for short term projects and tasks. So if I'm looking for gifts for the family, especially around Christmas time, I'll create a tab group called Family Gifts or Christmas and then keep my open tabs in there. Bookmarks, on the other hand, I'm going to use for pages that I need long term. So this will be things like social media, news sites, maybe links to my NAS device at home, that kind of thing. Now, there's no right or wrong way to use tab groups. Some people keep everything in there and leave bookmarks alone. Some don't touch them at all. But let's at least see how to set them up. So I've got some folders here with bookmarks. So shopping here, then tech. We've got banking and then finally news. So let's click on this tech one. And let's say that I quite like to make a tab group called tech that contains all of these bookmarks. Well, that's as easy as right clicking on the folder title. Now I could open all of these tabs if I want, but I want to open them in a tab group. Now, if I had some tab groups configured already, they would be listed here, but I don't. And I want to open them in a new tab group instead. So I'll select that. And a new tab group is open. Now I know this because up here, it says that these bookmarks are open in tech, which is the name of my new tab group. And I can click to switch between these. Or as ever, when you have open tabs, if you press the command and a number key, it will switch between the tabs. So command four will take me to the fourth tab, command five to the fifth and so on. Now, if I click on the back arrow here in the sidebar, I'm taken to my list of tab groups. And of course, there is only one currently, which is the tech one. Now, one of these tabs here is in the tech group, but actually it's going to be better suited somewhere else. This one here is about a game called Persona 5 Royale that I'm currently playing on my Steam Deck. And this would be better in a game specific tab group because I refer to this page quite a lot and there will be some others to do with this game that I'd like to add into it. There's a couple of ways of doing this. I can come up to file up here in the menu bar, select new empty tab group, just give it a name here. Then if I come back to the tech tab group here, I can expand it here so I can see everything that's in and then I can drag this one up here and drop it in. Now, another way of moving a tab into a new group, if I select this Tottenham Hotspur one here, clear this. And what I could do is I could right click on the tab itself, come down to move to tab group, and this pops out a menu to the side that allows me to either send it to an existing group. So we've got gaming and tech at the bottom there, or I can select a new one. So I'll do that. I'll give it a name, which is sport. And there it is. You can expand a tab group to see what's in it by clicking on the disclosure triangle to the right. And another way of moving a tab to another group is to simply click and drag it into a different one. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. 